Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll discuss misconceptions about Saturn Venus conjunction or mutual aspect. So, if Saturn and Venus are sitting together in your chart or they are mutually aspecting each other, or if Saturn is aspecting Venus through its third or tenth aspect, okay, does it mean that all these 10 things which we are going to discuss, which you will always find online in YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or Google in general will happen? Well, absolutely not. So first we'll discuss all these 10. And along with that, I'll also tell you when are some chances of these things occurring. Okay. When can certain things occur? But certainly they do not occur only with this conjunction because this conjunction will be there for millions and millions of people in this world and not everybody will have all of these okay if you're new to the channel please subscribe to it and please comment below if you have this conjunction and what are you facing in life all right and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who have this conjunction and are fearful of it god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for consultations regarding your personal horoscope you can go to my website down in the description section all right so what is the first misconception of saturn and venus yes i understand you guessed it right it is that you will have divorce <laughs> So people think, oh, I have Saturn, Venus, this world's most dreaded combination for marriage. I'll have divorce. Well, divorce can happen if you have this combination or this conjunction, uh, this mutual aspect. But along with this, you also need to have a very strong sixth house, which means there are many planets in the sixth house of your bhava chart or your tenth house. And those Mahadashas are coming. So, for example, if you have uh, Sun, Mars, Sun, Moon, Mars, okay, in your sixth house, in your Bhava chart, then it can happen that because Sun, Moon, Mars, the Mahadashas are back to back. So, then it can create a lot of bitterness and problems. And then finally, there could be divorce along with this Saturn, Venus thing, okay. But just because you have Saturn, Venus conjunct mutual aspect, it will give you divorce. It's a lie. What is the second lie? This is uh, the counter opposite of the first one, which is you will never have divorce, but you will have a very bad marriage. Okay. <laughs> so it's like two old couple as the uh, two old people. It's like that old couple who never separates, but is always fighting and, you know, howling, growling against each other, spilling out poison. Well, certainly this is not true. Now, again, if you have this and you have a strong sixth house and you have a reasonably strong seventh house, then what happens? Sometimes you want to break your marriage. Sometimes you want to keep it. So then there is bickering and, you know, you, you can't leave also. You can't stay. Uh, it's like a very uh, tough situation. Okay. So then it can happen if you have a strong sixth and seventh. Okay. Along with this. But otherwise, only with that, uh, it doesn't mean that. All right. Number three, this is a very big concern among uh, the Gen Z today, okay? Gen X, Gen Z is, oh my God, I have uh, Saturn, Venus conjunct, mutual aspect, and I have a bad sex life, all right? So, does it mean my sex life will be terrible, okay? Uh, this question is <clears throat> especially coming from uh, men and uh, women in the urban cities, okay? So, well, certainly not, all right? So... Bad sex life can be seen from the chart to some extent, but, but we'll discuss that some other time. But just because you have this, it does not mean you will have that, okay? Nor does it mean you will have, uh, as a man, you will have erectile dysfunction or something like that. It, it does not mean that, okay? So so don't, don't think negatively if you have this conjunction. Now, number four, this is primarily, so number three, as I said, uh, bad sex life, this comes primarily from uh, people in the metros and primarily from men and number four is coming again from the metros but primarily from women in my experience okay so this is uh, the women they think oh they will have no emotional connection with their husband or with their boyfriend and this is also not true this can happen if the seventh house has uh, very bad afflictions and uh, the seventh lord is in a bad dignity 
uh, but in a good house okay so it means if it is in a good house the marriage sustains but because it is in a bad dignity sign wise then uh, there is no em emotional intimacy okay but just because you have sat and been us together or aspecting each other it does not mean you will have this now number five this is again from men and women in the metros uh, but primarily from men <laughs> <laughs> will i have a ugly spouse will my wife look ugly okay if uh, saturn venus is there well certainly not uh, this is again a lie which is spread okay oh you have saturn venus your spouse will be ugly you won't want to have physical relation with her uh, you won't even want to look at her you know this that okay it's so terrible so this is not true now of course you cannot find your spouse from your chart so you cannot exactly predict how your spouse will be that is just not possible okay so what to speak of predicting uh, that your spouse is ugly or beautiful that is that's just not possible so neither can you predict if your spouse will be ugly neither can you predict if your spouse will be beautiful now i know what you will do in the comments you will say oh i have this friend that friend he or she has venus in seventh and their husband or wife is very attractive well that can happen in some cases, but it's not a general thumb rule. I can show you uh, at least uh, 20 charts with Venus in the 7th and they tell me that, oh, their spouse is not charming enough. <laughs> okay. Number 6. This is again coming from men. Uh, will I have a elder spouse? Okay, so the wife uh, will be elder than me. She'll be like 5 years, 10 years elder to me and then she will dominate on me. Now she will control me. She will dictate terms to me. Well, again, this is a lie. Okay. Now, of course, if you are meeting your spouse during Saturn, Mahadasha or Antardasha, then there is a chance either you are a male or a female, your spouse can be a bit elder to you, especially if you are a man, then the girl could be elder to you. Okay. Could be even one day elder or two years, three years elder. But just because you have this conjunction, it does not mean that you will get or uh, elder spouse because it can happen that your saturn is not indicating any relationship at all maybe your mercury is indicating so then in mercury you may find a girl who is very young okay much younger to you or even for a girl the husband could be younger than her okay so so you have to see which which planets have potential to bring in your spouse and your spouse may have those characteristics but but it's not a guarantee it's not like uh, Saturn is in the seventh, so he will bring in a girl who will be elder to you. Okay, it's it's not a guarantee. It is, it's like a thing which is like probability. But if there are multiple indications, then you can think and say maybe your spouse is elder. But just because of Saturn Venus, you uh, think that it's not good. All right. Number seven. This comes primarily from uh, women. This is uh, that Saturn Venus will suppress my creativity. Well, certainly not. It can do sometimes uh, if you uh, if the fifth house is afflicted, okay, by especially Mars uh, because Mars is that fiery planet which kind of dries out emotion and creativity. So then it can happen, but with Saturn Venus, uh, it's not a guarantee, okay. So if your fifth house is good, your fifth lord is good, then there's no problem with your creativity. Number eight, this is coming from both men and women. I will have affairs due to my unhappiness in married life okay or my spouse will have affairs because of uh, the unhappy marriage or maybe both of us are having affairs <laughs> well uh, see uh, as i said you know if your chart has a prominent sixth house so then there could be issues in marriage and if the eighth house and fifth house or twelfth house and fifth house are linked then there could be affairs but just because you have this one conjunction and you say there will be a phrase, that's not correct. Number nine, this is again coming from both men and women. I will not have any luxury in life. No luxuries in life because of Saturn Venus. Again, false, wrong, lies, doesn't work. Number 10, this is coming from everybody. <laughs> Problems with women or opposite sex in general. So people think uh, if a man has Saturn Venus, he will always have problems with women, girlfriend, wife, you know, and no matter what he does, he will always be in trouble. 
and women they think same is with their boyfriend or husband or for women it can be problems with other women in general okay so like they don't get along with their sister or mother or mother-in-law or somebody like that well this is not necessary it depends on your dashas your sixth lord eighth lord twelfth lord your third lord your tenth lord so it depends on the overall chart you can't just make a blanket statement like that all right so if you know anybody who is spreading all this uh, wrong information please uh, send this video to them and tell them that this is not correct so at the end these things could be there but there has to be other supporting combinations along with saturn venus only then these things can happen all right because now i know there will be some people who will write in the comments okay i know saturn venus my brother has father has this has that has and they have a divorce they have bad marriage okay but i can guarantee you open their chart and you will see all the other supporting factors also that i just mentioned for every point so if you find all this then look at their chart in totality don't just generalize things by one placement and you will uh, be able to understand more all right so if you're new then please subscribe if you like this video hit the thumbs up and comment your experience below i would love to see that and for consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him <laughs>